Okay, 2018, um, December the 8th, uh, we are starting the Harkerville hike, coastal hike this morning. Um, it's about quarter to nine. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick tour of the hut. Um, this is where we slept last night. We arrived fairly late in the, in the evening. Uh, this is the main room. Here is a, one of the dorm rooms, quite a few bunk beds, and fridge, and sink. This is the main dorm room, very many beds, sufficient space for quite a few people. And those are the ablution facilities, with showers, hot showers running water, toilets, that's the bry larpa, bry facilities. We arrived and the wood was already chopped. There was no axe here, but they gave us some tinder as well to start the fire. Here's another room. Triple bunk beds. And yet another room. This is the last one. Uh, the lighting might not be great. But once again, quite a few bunk beds. Ladies on the left. Gentlemen on the right. Very nice and clean. Tidy. Toilets, shower facilities, as I said, hot and cold running water. Okay, so from the Hockerville hut marker and the front door there they are in the distance that's the trailhead and there you have some information pointing towards the office there it is you need to check in supply identifi identification and Says the Padakop Trail, Horses Head Trail, but this is where the Hockerville Coastal Hut starts, and it's about 10 to 9 now. Right, here we go. Right, here's the first split in the trail. We are taking the right way, not the wrong way. That's the wrong way, it's coming back, and we're following the Padakop Trail. We're actually heading towards the Sinclair hut. That's where we're going to sleep tonight. And it's about, I don't know, about five minutes down the road. There's a second marker. And you just follow your nose. About a cop. This is what the other one says. We don't want to go back. Going forward. Okay, that was a fairly steepish uphill, but here's the next marker. It's about another five minutes down the road. It's about nine o'clock now. Here you can see some construction vehicles in the back for purposes of nature conservation. Don't go down that path. We're following Paddockop that way. And here's the next split in the road. It's another five minutes. That's where we come from. And that's where we're going. According to that marker, don't follow that route. And here we go. Uh, it's about, no, it's just about nine o'clock now. This is the one kilometer marker. 
and it's now a little bit past nine. And it's about quarter past nine. This is Sinclair Hut. Go right, not left. All right, not wrong. This is literally 10 paces down the road. That's the next marker. And that was the wrong turn through the bushes over there, following a little path coming along. And you still want to go to the right over there. There's another marker. Oh, this is literally another 10 paces down the road. It's about half past nine. And this is the two kilometer mark. And there goes the trail. Coming up on another marker. Here we intersect the, the red and the green routes for the bicycles, I believe. That is not a footpath. The path goes that way. It's about uh, not much more than half past nine again. This is a nice little clearing, perfect little picnic spot. Let's see where the road goes. Pardon the bumpy ride. Imagine that this is found footage. Hmm, there's a marker. Looks like uh, we gotta go to the left where them people are and not to the right where the bikes go. Red and green route. Some more red and green route over there, apparently that way. And uh, what's happening here? Not this way. And that's where we're coming from. And turning around, there we go. It's about, what, not much more than half past nine again. And here's the three kilometer mark. It's about 20 to 10. About an hour into the hike. It's about 10 to 10 now. Here's another marker. We want to go to the right. And that's better, cop. If you don't want to do that anymore, we're going to Sinclair. Right, we had a nice long rest break over here. There's a tree arching over the path. It is now about quarter past ten. And heading on. Duck. <coughs> Don't trip and where'd the path go? Oh there it is. Okay. That's the four kilometer marker. It is now about quarter past ten. And that's the path. This should be the escape route now. And there's a friendly indigenous person. Escape route, very good. Okay, St. Clair Hut going to the right. Mm -hmm. Escape route comes from the left. And there's a... So usually the people with the broken patella escape route. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's an inside joke. Broken patellas. And uh, there's a sign indicating the green bike route. 
going on the escape route towards St. Clair Hut, but we're going to take the long way around to the right. Right, this is just after the four kilometer marker. It is now about 25 past 10. And here we go. Actually, I need to add something to that last little bit. There's the green bike marker again. And some more markers. The escape route is specifically for vehicles to remove injured or ill people, sick people. Hello? Motion camera. Motion camera. Where, where, where? Oh, uh, there. Taking a photograph of a photographer. <laughs> All right, St. Clair hat. There's the blue and yellow bike route. I don't know what the yellow foot is for, yellow footprint is for. And that's St. Clair hat going that way. All right. And it's about quarter to 11. This is the five kilometer mark. And that's the path ahead. It is now about 10 to 11, and we have reached one of the greatest landmarks along the, the Hockerville coastal hike. These are the well-known uh, Californian redwoods. I'll move out into the road over there so you can get a bit better view just shortly. Um, this, I presume, is damage from the Nisner fires about a year ago. And the trees haven't really grown back. I, I believe this was uh, actually a spot of uh, pine plantation or blue gum plantation. There we go. This is a nice shot. Look at them. And they just go higher and higher. It's just a small spot of them, small clump of these California redwoods over here. But this is like uh, one of the famous spots along the Hockerville hike. Ah, we got a couple of tree huggers here that want to hug the tree. There we go. Uh, California redwood. Some information, you can pause and read the, read the blurb there. What else do we have? That's here we have an indication of the the blue and the yellow bike routes again, going off into the distance. And that might be the way we're going. Okay, it's about half past eleven. We've had a nice long break, and we're leaving the redwoods. Carrying on to the Sinclair hut. And a couple of meters down the road. There's our next marker. And just taking a look around back to the redwoods. There they are. Lovely, magnificent trees. And then turning around further, some new pines. And on with the road. And a couple of meters down the road again. Six kilometer mark. And there's the red bike route going up the hill. And the blue and the yellow bike routes going down the hill where we've come from. And just as you enter the forest, there's our next marker, St. Clair at pointing that away through the forest. For reference, it is now just about 
a little bit past half past 11. And there's the 7k mark, carrying on through the forest. It is now about mm, quarter to 12. And a couple of paces down, this, down the road, down the path. What do you suppose this sign means? Beware of hikers? Yeah, it's about 5 to 12 now. We're taking another quick rest break. There's, there's the marker. We're going to our left. And there behind Nadia is the path. There is another path to the right, but the way is barred. This seems to be the old Hockerville, Hockerville Trail. Um, you can read the info there. It is now about hmm, 20 past 12. Here's our next marker. And we're going along the path in that general direction. Okay, it's about half past 12 and we have arrived at another peculiar sign. And I believe there's another one down the way. Whoops. Looks like they must be getting quite a bit of traffic down here. Anyway, footprints to the right. And there we go. And towards the bottom of the downhill, a couple of minutes later, we find an interesting little bridge here. Oops, don't slip. They're asking about a waterfall. Apparently there's a waterfall somewhere along the, la along the way, but mm, this is not it. Quite a nice solid little bridge. And there's the way ahead among the trees. And it's about 25 to 1. And we're coming out of the forest. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but through the trees over there, I can see the sea. Let's carry on for a couple of paces and see what else we can see. Okay, and another little bridge and a stream. I think the lighting is too good there. And here you can see some fire damage from last year, 2017. Can you see that as I point in the right direction? I'm looking over the camera instead of through the camera. Uh, it's not a pretty sight. And there's another little marker. You might be able to see the sea across the horizon. Lovely, isn't it? Let's just take the view from here. And that's the forest that we just come out of. It's 
the path in which we are walking now, direction from which we've come, and panning back. Here we go. Fire damage. The old Hockerwald trail used to go down the beach. Nice view from there. Alright, let's check it. Over the edge. Nice view, yes. Yeah, but as the as I said, the old old Hockerville route used to come down on that ridge over there on the opposite side, then down to the beach. And you trudge along over the rocks and you'll come up on the other side again eventually. And we're heading generally in that direction. And there's a nice view of the beach. As I've said, it's about it's about 22 one at the moment. Here's our next marker. It's about just past quarter to one, and uh, we've got an option to go along the red route for the bikes, or along the demarcated footpath along that way there's a green car apparently there's a fisherman that drove in along the road and came down for a nice day of fishing angling all right here we go okay there's the little green golf and it's about 10 to 1 there's our next marker, but we're going to take a little bit of a detour. Down towards the old path, just to have a look over the edge. Yeah, fire damage. Used to be a. Where is it? There is it. There it is. It used to be an old. Um, what do you call it? Crossbar across the road to prevent erosion. There's another one. And they've all burnt. Okay, it's about five to one. I decided to take a break. Yeah, it's a pretty view. There's the horizon. That's where we've come from. Uh, 
Okay, it's now about uh, two minutes past one, I guess. And we're moving on from our little break. Apparently we need to head to those blue gums right on the horizon. Those eucalyptus trees. Apparently that's where St. Clair Hut is. Okay, it's about five past one. And that's the way we've come down here and there's a bit of scrambling across the rocks here climbing up and then the path fizzles out where to go that's the question my recommendation is go left and if you use your imagination you might see a path amongst the little bushes and the scrub and what not and then before too very long go back on the red bike route that's the red bike route coming across the hill that's the way that we've come and that's the way we're going there's the sea on our right hand side towards the south. That's the way we've just come, where we've lost the path, turning back towards the east. And that's where we're going. Then, very shortly after you come onto the red route again, it's about 10 past 1. There's another marker pointing to the left towards those blue gums on the horizon where we should find St. Clair Hut. It's about quarter past one and that's the old, old 14 kilometer marker on the old Hockerville route. We've cut about four kilometers out of the hike on the new route. So that's why we're here this early. Um, as you can see, lots of fire damage all around. And some new greenery coming out as well. Quite a thick bit of greenery. And there's the sea on the horizon just behind us. And that's the path we've come. Alright, and going ahead around the corner and it's about 20 past 1 and that's the last, last stretch you might just see the green roof St. Clair hut through the branches there and here we go, last stretch This might be part of the escape route. Home sweet home. For today at least. And some people are moving out already. Here's room number one. Triple bunk beds on the one side and triple bunk beds on the other side. And there's the view out the window. Somebody's talking about pizza. And there's a fireplace, under roof fireplace. And there's the outside backyard fireplace. Moving around. 
one, two, room number two. Yep. Same deal. Triple bunk beds. Triple bunk beds. And view out the window. And this is a new extension since I've last been here. Indoor plumbing. Yeehaw. Well, toilets and basins at least. No showers. And that's the view from the porch looking out over the sea. Alright, I think that's it for today. Good morning everybody, it is 2018 December the 9th, it is about quarter to 7 in the morning and that is what sunrise looks like today. Okay, it's just about 8 o'clock, we're setting out for the second and last day of the Hockerville Coastal Hike, and there we go. It is about 20 past 8, and here's our first marker along the way. This is the red cycle route, the red bike route, that's not accessible at the moment due to the fire damage of last year. Coming from that side and going over the hill and that's the way we're going. It's about 25 to 9 and here's our next marker and going uphill. It's about quarter to nine and coming up that hill is a bit tricky. The path isn't all that clear but if you just come, come up straight enough you should find this next marker and then follow the road ahead. Don't turn to the left, rather go up the hill as the footprint indicates. Right, it's about 10 to 9. Here's our next marker. There's some roads coming from the left. Looks like a red cycle route again. I don't know what that is. And here we go. Downhill. Good. It's just before nine o'clock um, and we've come across a nice little stream.
and it's about 10 past 9. Here's our next marker. Not that way. That way. Oh, there's a gate. Hmm. Just a couple of paces beyond the gate. It's about ten past nine. Here's our next marker. Alternative southern loop. Hmm, with a viewpoint apparently. We decided to take the alternative southern loop, and this marker is at just about quarter past nine. It's quite a wide landscape all around. That's the way we've come. And then following the marker to the right. And there we have a nice view. That's a couple of paces down the way. From the from the turn off, and I can hear something screaming in the background on the opposite cliff where I've come from. First one sounds like a human, and the next one is definitely a baboon. Yeah, it's about half past nine. Johan and I jog down to the viewpoint. And the rest of our party are. Still waiting at the turn off. Um, and there's a rugged coastline for you. This is the view about directly south. And then towards the east. down and with the tree line and the road intersect that's where our party is waiting so it's uh, I don't know about 200 300 meters at most and there's Teresa coming on as well That's the valley that we've walked around this morning. Well, it's surprisingly short compared to the original route. The original Hockerville came along the coast, dropped down the cliffs, and you had to navigate and negotiate your way across the rocks. And then up the incline, up the hill on the other side, eventually.
Okay, it's about quarter to ten. We've ended our break. That's the way we've come. This is where we've parked. That's the viewpoint. And turning around towards the east. east. Well, that's the way we're going up the hill. Yeah, it's just about 10 o'clock and there's our next marker. Um, there are quite a few old forest roads here amid the, the old pine plantations. Um, they've all been burned down now with the fires of last year. That's the way up, up the hill. And this is the way we've come. There are a couple of intersections across the road. Just keep walking straight. And uh, until you hit this marker and turn right. It's about five past ten. A couple of paces down the road and uh, there's the next marker. Don't turn right. Follow the bend. Don't turn left either. Not that way. That seems to be one of the bike routes. Okay, it's about half past, no, it's about quarter past ten. Here's the next marker. There's an intersection, it seems. Okay, well, I don't think that's applicable to us. There's a cycling route sign. Not going that way. Footprint says go the other way, to the woods to the right. Entry without permit. Angler's parking. Kronsvik viewpoint. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to wander around a bit. Some ni nice picnic spots. This is the Kronsvik picnic area. There's the Kronshoek Coastal Walk. The plan is apparently to go to a viewpoint down that road to look at some waterfalls. Here's an information kiosk. Looks like the Hawkerville Trail goes in that direction. Perhaps over there towards the green sign, which says Hawkerville Coast Hiking Trail. Oh, we're allowed to swim here. Hello. some information boards. Okay, I'm going to drop my pack here. Okay, that's the information kiosk. And we're not going down that road. We're following this little path. Oh, apparently we're not allowed to do that. But we're doing it anyway. Okay, here goes. That's uh, the picnic area over there. This is the path I've come along. And over there, it's quite a nice little waterfall. Or a nice big waterfall. And valley.
Okay, we've got a precipice here. I'm, I'm not too comfortable with the heights. I'm just going to lean over and or lean the camera over at least and perhaps take a look at it later on the video. Okay, I have no idea what that shot looks like. I'll see it when I edit the video. Cheers. We've just spotted an old trail on the opposite side. Apparently the path goes all around. And down into the valley. And to the beach I guess. Okay, it's about 25 to 11 and sign says Hockerville Hut 5 kilometers. Um, we've heard an estimate of about one to one and a half hours before we get there through the forest. So yeah, we're just waiting for everybody to catch up. This is a couple of paces down the trail. Apparently this is not the Kranzu Coastal Day Walk. And that's the way we're going. Yeah, it's about quarter to 11 is our next marker. And that might be the 16 kilometer marker for the old um, Hockerville route. Oh, I'm not sure. Because it's it's fairly new. It's recently printed. Okay, it's about eleven o'clock, and uh, this is a spot in the middle of the forest where we've just paused for about five minutes. Because behind us, can't really see it, and I don't want to go back. Here's a fairly steep incline. We needed the rest. Okay, it's about 10 past 11 and this is the 17 kilometer mark. I think this is for the new Hockerville route. Um, so we've got about 3 kilometers left, I guess. Another hour's worth, worth of hiking, I think. Okay, that's the way ahead. And a couple of paces down the path, we have our next marker. In other words, turn to and right, because that's a bike route. In this case, the left way is the right way. Yeah, it's about quarter past eleven. And there's our next marker, pointing to the Hockerville hut. Yeah, it's about twenty-five past eleven. And apparently, we've just hit the 25 kilometer, kilometer mark, which is peculiar. And almost half past 11, there's our next marker, and it looks like everybody wants a rest by now. No, that way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Except Francois. Francois just wants to keep on moving. He's in the moving mode. <coughs> okay, it's about 22.12. And that's the bike route along which we came, which we come. 
for me. I'm just tired. And that's the other half of the bike route. And then we're going down that way. It's about 12 o'clock and not that way, but that way. And this is the way we came. Turning left, here we go. And that's not even five past 12 yet. Here's our next marker, not the left, going right. There we go. Just about 10 paces down the path. Here's our 19 kilometer marker. Carrying on. And uh, further 10 paces down the path. It looks like it splits. But this log across the way to the right seems to indicate rather take the left hand side. Let's see what's happening around the bend. No, oh, there's another path coming in from the further left. We'll just follow our noses around the bend. There we go. And it's about 10 past 12 and there's another marker. We're just still following our noses up the hill and around the bend. Intersecting one of the main forest roads and the Hockerville hut is pointing that way. And the opposite way is one of the bike routes again. And to be honest, I hope this is the home stretch. And here we are. It's about quarter past twelve. That was indeed the home stretch. Oh no, wait. There's a sign that says Hockerville Hut. Might not have been the home stretch. Okay, here we go again. It's about quarter past twelve, and this seems to be where the the away route and the home route come together. So there's the paddocop sign on the paddocop trail. But we're going back that way. Should be close now. And it's about I don't know, about five minutes down the road, there's a second marker, and you just follow your nose. Paddekop, this is what the other one says, if you don't want to go back, going forward. It's about 20 past 12, five minutes from the previous shot. Clear hut. And turning left. My 
Watch your step, don't slip. Yeah, it's about 25 past 12. And at the end, at the last little uphill, we have finally arrived where we've started. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have done it. And I thank all the people who came with me. Cheers.